Good morning and happy Monday. Um, very frosty this morning, lovely clear nights, beautiful frosty mornings and sunny days at the moment. Um, although it feels like we got very little of autumn um, and we're straight into winter. Uh, anyway, every Monday I'm trying to do this at 10 o'clock. Today we're talking about um, the superannuation guarantee and it's relevant in this climate in some respects because we have to make sure that employers are still paying super um, while cash flow is an issue because um, it's not something that they can get out of. Uh, so since the early 90s there's been the current superannuation scheme essentially um, where employers are required to pay a percentage of your income into superannuation. At the moment it's 9.5% and that's slowly creeping up. Um, now a lot of employees don't count the superannu superannuation contribution as part of their income but it is so it's something to think about. So if you get $60,000 a year um, bear in mind that your employer is actually paying $66,000 a year because they're paying that extra roughly 10% um, into your super as well. So basically the, it's the government's way of ensuring that you're saving for retirement. Um, they are forcing you to put some of your income straight into super. Um, and they put that obligation on your employer rather than yourself because they don't trust people to actually do it. I mean, another way they could have done it was the employer pays it to you and then um, you pay a higher rate of tax and then the ATO manages it. That could have been another way that they did it, but um, then tax returns would have been not as rewarding. So. Um, the government's decided that it is the employer that has to pay that contribution. In the early 2000s, it was about 2003, I think, that the um, scheme changed slightly so that it became a responsibility of the employer to actually pay those once a quarter, to pay your superannuation once a quarter. Because a lot of employers weren't paying it regularly enough and then there were businesses that failed and super hadn't been paid. So to rectify that or minimise that impact, employers have to make sure that they are keeping up with that superannuation contribution and paying it every quarter. Um, so you should check if you can with your super to see whether your employer is paying instalments into your super fund regularly, at least once a quarter. Um, if they're not, you may have to raise it with them or raise it with the ATO. Uh, now the ATO also has a guarantee on your super as well. So for example, if a business fails and hasn't paid super, the ATO actually has to put the net amount back into your super that the um, employer should have paid. So uh, that's quite interesting that that has sort of happened in the last 20 years. So you don't miss out on your super just because um, your employer has gone bust. Um, so who has to have the superannuation contribution guarantee? Well, it's just about every employee. Um, unless they're paid less than $450 a month, um, or unless they're earning income outside of Australia, or certain workers on certain visas don't get super either, but definitely Australian residents do. Um, and also if the person is under 18 and working less than 30 hours, they may not get super either. Excluded. Sorry, someone rang my mobile. Um, so the other people that are excluded, obviously, are people who are not actually considered employees. So subcontractors and people self-employed, um, obviously because you're not in an employee employment relationship, you are self-employed, you need to pay yourself super. And unfortunately, a lot of um, small business owners don't and they let that go. Um, however, I suppose I wanna encourage people who are um, 
contractors or self-employed to pay yourself super because actually it's a good tax deduction for yourself as well. Um, there are tax advantages of paying into super and that is why um, or how the government is trying to incentivize us to save for retirement. So on money going into super, you're only taxed at 15% instead of being taxed at between 30 and 45% like you would on a marginal, on your marginal income. So hence for small business owners, um, if instead of taking the money in your own hands, pay it into your super and you pay less tax. Um, so I think that that's about all the things that I wanted to bring up around superannuation, um, except that the 9.5% currently um, is all the employer has to pay in, that's compulsory. Um, as an individual, you can also do your own contributions as well. And so that is something worth looking into. Um, you can sometimes salary sacrifice that in so that um, it's done at a low tax rate. Um, also, um, you get some tax deductions for doing that. Um, for certain employees, when you um, pay money into super yourself, the government rewards you with a co-contribution and so they give you an extra thousand to fifteen hundred bucks for doing it for free. So that's a nice little bonus. Um, or if you have a spouse that has a good income, they can make contributions into your super for you um, and they get a tax deduction. So um, there's all sorts of extra ways of topping up your super and getting tax deductions for doing it. Um, for advice on that, you really need to see a financial planner. Um, all I'm really talking about today are the requirements of the superannuation guarantee. Um, so that you are aware that that should be being paid um, and check with your super fund that your employer is paying it at least quarterly um, because if they're getting behind it can be an indication that um, they're struggling um, but as I said earlier um, the ATO will ultimately top up your super if the business fails. So there you are, superannuation guarantees. Next week I'm going to talk a little bit more about types of super um, and how um, superannuation is actually structured. So next Monday I'll be back again with this short snippet of legal information. If anyone has any particular topic they want me to talk on or any question they want answered on a live video, please direct message us about that. Um, and of course, if you want to contact us about any matter at all that you have a concern about, direct message through Facebook or um, all our direct emails are available on our website. All these videos will also be posted um, onto our Facebook page and they stay there. So you can go to the videos tab on our Facebook page and look back through all the different topics um, to see whether we've already done something relevant for you. Um, or if you find something that's relevant for someone else, please send it to them or tag them in it. Otherwise, hope you have a really great week. I'll see you next Monday.